In this figure, we have a plot of potential energy versus position of a 0.2 kilogram particle that can travel only along an x-axis under the influence of a conservative force. The graph has values of UA 9 joules, UC 20 joules, UD 24 joules. The particle is released at the point where U forms a potential hill of height UB equals 12 joules, right there. And at that spot, it has four joules of kinetic energy. What is the speed of the particle at x equals 3.5 and at x equals 6.5? Okay, so we know that the total mechanical energy of the particle is fixed. It doesn't change. So the sum of U plus K is always the same. So that's what I start, of, start off with here. K plus U, or potential energy, at some time point is equal to the K plus U at another time point. So at the point in question, 3.5, I know I have 9 joules of potential energy. So my potential value is 9, and we're trying to find the velocity at that point. So that's the V in the K term. So this is what I'm solving for. At point B, I know I have 12 joules of potential energy and 4 joules of kinetic energy. So that tells me my total mechanical energy is 4 plus 12, or 16 joules. So I'm going to solve this equation now for V. And I see that it is moving at 8.37 meters per second when it is located at this spot right here. What is the speed of the particle at x equals 6.5? Down here I see that I have 0 joules of, of potential. So all 16 joules are going to be kinetic. So that's what I'm doing here. I am all 16 joules is equal to my kinetic energy. None of it is potential energy. Solve it for V. The particle is moving here at 12.6 meters per second. What is the position of the turning point on the right side over here and on the left side over here? So I know if I draw a line at 16 joules, those are the points I'm looking for. So I'm going to use the point slope formula the point slope formula is just the definition of slope rearranged. We get the point slope formula. So on the right side, I know the, the endpoints of that straight slanted line, 8, 24, and 7, 0. So now I'm looking for this point right here, x, 16. So when I solve plug in the numbers for the point slope formula on the left side, I get 7.67 is my value for x. And then on the left side, the endpoints of that straight line here, the endpoints of this line are 3, 9 and 1, 20. And I'm looking for this spot, x, 16. So plug in my values to the point slope formula and come up with my answer x is equal to 1.73 meters.